subscribe button hit that like button and by the end of the video leave a comment for me down below it will be greatly appreciated and it helps out more than you may know because you guys know I am on the way to a thousand subscribers so if you could just hit subscribe for me I would like so appreciate it so how do you guys like my makeup I just did this quick little makeup real quick okay just feeling myself I did this like matte lipstick which I never wear lipstick I always wear like something just to like give my lips a little tint but nothing like this that has to dry I feel like I just don't have the patience for it but anyway welcome back to my channel um, if you're tuning in thank you so much I just want to say I'm just you know on this channel to keep it real if you guys go back and watch any of my old videos you'll know like i'm so real i'm so uncut like this is my life and this is my story you know what i'm saying so anyway with all that being said you know i didn't really need to say all that anyway i wanted to get up on here and do a pregnancy update for you guys so currently i am 17 weeks pregnant um you know how I found you know 17 weeks I still got a long way to go I still got 23 weeks to go but I will say every pregnancy is its own journey listen um, when I say that because this pregnancy has been a little bit different than the pregnancy with my daughter um, this one's a boy um, when I found out I was pregnant I was really early I was like four weeks pregnant super super early very faint line I'll add all my pictures all my ultrasounds everything I'll add into this video but um yeah super faint line barely four weeks um, I want to say I didn't even start getting sick like nauseous like with my daughter I was nauseous from the very like from the jump all the way into like the day I had her nauseous nauseous all day long every day like nauseous to the point where you need to go to the hospital and get an IV kind of nauseous type of thing but with my son it's been a little bit different um, the symptoms that I experience with him I get lightheaded and dizzy like and then I get nauseous but only if I need to like drink something or eat something or like super early in the morning I'm super nauseous so 17 weeks um I started to feel him like I started to feel little flutters around 15 weeks so now I'm 17 weeks and I'm actually starting to feel kicks um sometimes I catch myself like waiting all day long for him to kick you know but um it's not supposed to get real consistent until about 20 weeks to where you're gonna feel the baby every day but I will say being pregnant with a boy and being pregnant with a girl so far two completely different pregnancies two completely different experiences because with my daughter I was fine like I didn't experience no symptoms other than nausea like severe nausea I was diagnosed with 
um, I think it's called HG or something like that. I don't know the medical terminology for it, but I was diagnosed with something to where my nausea was so freaking bad. And um, all the way through the pregnancy, Nala was, my daughter was, um, she was six, six pounds, 18 ounces, I believe six pounds 11 ounces so yeah she was six pounds 11 ounces so she was she was an average size baby um <clears throat> this pregnancy like i said completely dizzy and i get lightheaded oh my god and let me tell you guys exhausted this little boy makes me so exhausted and tired fatigue um can't be comfortable whatsoever and then my back like right here where like my back bends i have like severe back pain with him and then um some other symptoms that i've been experiencing with this pregnancy is like the urge and the like feeling to pee i don't know it's so uncomfortable like and then if i go pee it kind of gives me the chills so I got like um, tested for a UTI and I had one so then I cured it and I don't have one anymore and they keep testing me over and over every time I go into the appointments or whatever but um yeah I feel like I gotta pee all the time and sometimes I really don't gotta pee and then if I do go pee it'll be just a little bit but I will say it's kind of hard to um it's kind of hard to drink and eat and everything the way i'm supposed to because of the weight loss surgery which will be a whole nother video um with having the gastric sleeve surgery my stomach was cut in half so i really don't have a lot of room in my stomach to eat and drink and i have to take it really slow like i throw up a lot um but then i just eat so that I can have some of it in there for him. You know, like when you're pregnant, you don't need to take in that much more calories than what you would on a, you know, if you weren't pregnant. They say not until like the last three months and then you need to up your calories by like 200. So I know I'll be fine and the baby will be fine, but I do just stress about um, taking enough water because I really don't like to drink water. Uh, so drinking water, and eating are really really hard for me because my stomach is so small i'm like a year uh yeah i'm like a year and a half out for my surgery so it's we're getting through it but definitely i would say which pregnancy has been harder or which pregnancy is harder i would say this one this one because with my daughter i could just like smoke some weed and then the nausea would go away with him that doesn't work it kind of makes me feel worse which is like perfect because i don't want to smoke anymore um if you haven't seen my other video i do smoke weed and support parent mothers that smoke weed during pregnancy um you know everyone has their own story everyone has their own life and i'm not here to judge anybody you know unless you're like doing hardcore drugs while you're pregnant of course that's not acceptable but yeah this pregnancy has been all right i'm almost halfway through um i went and seen a doctor at 16 weeks and i did have an ultrasound done um it's not a very good one but this is him at 16 weeks so far. Yeah. Uh, it's not the best ultrasound because like I said, it was just over my stomach and you know, I'm still early in my pregnancy or whatever. But this is one that I had done. This was one that was done sooner. And um, you could kind of see him better this was like a trans this was the vaginal ultrasound so it's like a little bit better it's my little son guys i'm so excited to have a son like 
I'm so excited. I can't even express it. Like, I just feel like every, like, I don't know, having children to me, it just makes us, it makes me a better person, makes me want to do better. Like, this baby's a blessing either way. I'm so excited for him. Like I said, I'm 17 weeks, so two, well, two more weeks, I'll be halfway, exactly halfway through my pregnancy because I turn 18 weeks in like three days. So yeah, two more weeks and um, I'll be halfway there, guys. He's due February 22nd, so gonna have a February baby and my daughter's an August baby. So I'm gonna experience going being pregnant through the winter this year which i'm super excited um because i just like caught the end of the summer being pregnant so i got pregnant in june so i kind of like june july august i guess i was pregnant the whole summer too but last time i was pregnant with my daughter i was pregnant like pregnant pregnant towards the end of my pregnancy all through the summer because she was born in august and now that was torturous so i'm excited to be pregnant through the winter get to dress different show off my belly i am starting to show um i could try to show you guys which is not probably it's probably not gonna work but i'll put a picture up at the end um i'm just gonna like put all my pictures all my ultrasounds everything that i have i'm gonna upload it at the end of this video because this is my first pregnancy update i guess uh, since i announced my pregnancy so yeah it's been a wild ride i want to say found out i was pregnant at four weeks and then i want to say around seven or eight weeks i started to bleed a little bit so i've been like so 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 scared of losing the baby like oh god i did have a miscarriage before um before my daughter my very first pregnancy i miscarried very early it was probably like a chemical pregnancy you know um nothing ever formed so that's a blessing but it's just for any pregnant person especially for a pregnant woman who's experienced a loss before pregnancy can be really really hard um very stressful you worry about the baby 24 7 and with my daughter i never showed any other symptoms except nausea with this baby like i said i have the whole ha or having the urge to pee all the time um but i guess i don't have a uti i'm gonna ask them to test me again because ugh. so um yeah having the urge to pee all the time being so dizzy and like there's there was a few times like i'm not even gonna exaggerate a few times like I got so dizzy and lightheaded that I had to like lay on the floor like get down to the floor and take a second and breathe for a minute and like come back to like earth because that's how like dizzy I can get you know I don't know there's something different about carrying a boy and carrying a girl but man let me tell you those episodes are very terrifying like Oh, I just, I don't want to fall. I don't want to pass out. None of that. None of that. But, yeah, I'm really excited for him. Um, I'll probably do another update soon. I'm going to have a baby shot in, like, a October baby shower because you guys know spooky season and fall is my favorite holiday, favorite time of the year. Um, so, my baby shower will be next month. Um, hopefully, that works out. If not, then I'll do a Thanksgiving baby shower, okay? Cause he's gonna come in February and oh yeah like I said I don't have much more shopping to do I bought his swing I bought his crib um you can go see my baby haul I bought everything I bought his car seat stroller I have diapers I have everything basic that I need for him now it's just stocking up I need to stock up on like baby lotion baby soap for him and my daughter diapers wipes stuff like that just those basic things that hopefully i will be blessed with at my baby shower but if not um i'll be doing that shopping towards like the beginning of the year after i get a new car if you guys have not kept up with me go check out my goals and what's going on because i will be moving to texas after this little boy is born so um yeah that's about it 
that's about it i'm just so blessed to be pregnant blessed to be able to carry a child you know especially and especially blessed to give birth to a healthy baby you know what i'm saying like i get on facebook every day and there's been a few times that i got on and saw that somebody lost their baby or somebody miscarried or something and being a part of those pregnancy groups you guys it's really really hard because you see losses on there i actually had to remove myself from those kind of groups yeah baby let me make my video and then you can come in here okay yeah okay love you yeah you can take it so i literally had to remove myself from those groups because it's just not something i want to see every day it, i already am in fear of losing you know my pregnancy and something going wrong so i just you know i just had to remove that negative energy and just stay positive you know i've learned like i will say i've learned this over the years just try to stay positive like keep a positive mindset because i feel like the energy give you give off is the energy that is res like res reversed back to you you know like if you go into work and you have an attitude then maybe you're gonna get attitude back but if you go into work and you kill people kindness and you be nice and you just give off good energy and just try to be happy um yeah try to be happy you know then you're gonna have a better day and the people around you are gonna be encouraged to be happy so i feel that's the same way with the universe just give off positive vibes like i remember i was going to take my ged test and i had failed it three times prior and um i just kept telling myself i was like i pass like i pass i'm gonna pass like no matter what i'm gonna pass pass i pass and i pass you know so that's what i'm saying my son's gonna be okay this pregnancy is gonna be okay everything's gonna be okay i'm doing what i'm supposed to do you know trying my best to stay hydrated try my best to eat taking my vitamins you know and keeping positive giving off positive energy into the universe you know what i'm saying like just pray about it ask god stay by your side you know whatever you believe in that do you and that's about it so it's your girl amber ray i love you guys please stay tuned please leave a comment for me please hit the like button and please 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 hit subscribe and i will talk to you guys update you guys you know everything we're going along this ride together 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 i love you guys and i will talk to you guys later
I'm sorry. That is so cute, Amber. <laughs> 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 <laughs>